Hello and welcome to Buildapreneur. My name is Spencer Meekum and I'm going to be telling you right now why ActiveCampaign is the number one email autoresponder to use right now and why literally thousands of marketers are switching every single week to ActiveCampaign because it is awesome. So stay tuned. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Uh, like I said, we're going to be talking all about Active Campaign. I'm going to be going over all the different details of Active Campaign, why I switched to Active Campaign after going through five different autoresponders. I finally settled on Active Campaign and just unbelievably happy with the switch. I will never, ever switch again. Um, and I'm going to explain why here. Um, please note down below there's a link to Active Campaign. There's also a link to a totally free email marketing course. If you're new to the email marketing game, go ahead and click and get that for free. Um, I'll teach you everything I know about email marketing at no cost. So um, the first thing I want to talk about is deliverability. Okay, it doesn't matter how good the autoresponder is if it's not delivering your emails. It nothing else matters, right? Um, so we're going to look at Active Campaign's deliverability. Um, this is the reporting tab here. You can see this is just one of my automations. Um, I promise it's not like my best one or my worst one. This is just one of my main big ones. Um, and you can see here open rates. I'm looking at 40%. I hope you can see that in the little YouTube video. 40% there. I'm looking at 35% there, 35% there, 35%, 18%. Guess what? That's probably a crappy email for me. <laughs> Um, 38%, 21%, 55%, 62%. Um, so very, very, very good deliverability. The ones you see that aren't delivering well are very likely bad subject lines on my part because if it's getting a 60% open rate on the next email, um, it's probably just something that I did wrong on the first email. Um, I've never known... Uh, never known active campaign have deliverability issues largely because they're very very picky about who they let in okay um, it's totally worth it when you get in but they're a little bit pickier about who they're gonna let send emails to their platform because and because of that those of us that are on there are able to vastly benefit and get really good deliverability rates okay um, the next thing and this is this is the primary reason that I love active campaign is automations okay if, if you're if you're at all a fan of automation passive income right your email marketing tools doing the work for you automatically then you absolutely need active campaign um, let me go over this here um, we're gonna look at a quick automation so these are automations that I have inside of active campaign right now um, and, and and there literally is nothing in my opinion that you cannot do inside of an automation we're gonna look at um, one of my sequences here okay um, oh, we're looking at our report still. That's why I'm so confused. Um, we're going to look at a, at a sequence called the soap opera sequence, which is something that I send out to everybody that gives me their email address. Um, so the first thing to note is it's a visual builder. So all of your automations um, are done visually, which makes it very, very easy to see what's going on. Okay. So you can see all of these different things are triggers that that trigger this sequence coming out. Okay. Um, basically, when people get added to certain lists, you can also have it trigger sequences when people do pretty much anything. And in fact, we can look here. I can add a new trigger. And you can see um, pretty much anything you want can trigger an email. You could trigger something if they reply. You could trigger something if they forward it. You can trigger if they share the email, if they get a tag added to their profile. Um, it's got goal-based email marketing. Anything you can think of can trigger the sequence. And then the sequence begins, okay? And you can do things like you can have it wait. You can have it wait specifically. So you can have it check your contact's time zone. And you can have it say, okay, I don't want it to send at 2 a.m. You know, Greenwich time uh, or 2 a.m. Australia time. I want it to send at... Um, 11 a.m. Um, whatever their time zone is, right? Because that's a good time for email open rates. And so you can easily do that. You would just click plus and you would have it do a, um, you'd say conditions and you'd have it wait and you'd say wait until it's 11 a.m. the context time zone. And this works very, very well and really um, helps with your open rates as you saw on my open rates, okay? Um, you can have it do very conditional targeting. So I can say, hey, does the contact have this tag? Meaning has the contact, basically for me, I'm checking to see if the contact has joined my Facebook group because I make them put in an email to do so. When they do, they get tagged and I can say, okay, does this contact have that tag? And if they do, I can say, okay, well, we don't need to send them that email. Uh, but if they don't, let's send an email and say, hey, join the Facebook group, right? Um, and so, and then we can kind of bring them all back in. You can see, I can say, okay, now I want them to just rejoin this regular automation. And then I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till it's their, you know, the right time in their time zone. I'm going to have it skip the weekends. I don't send emails on weekends because I found I get bad deliverability rate. And then I'm going to send an email. Okay. Um, and literally these automations can do anything you want. Okay. At the end of this automation, I end it and then I send them into another automation. But, but anywhere in this automation, I can have it do waiting things. I can have it send emails. I can have it do um, conditional formatting, like if they're on other lists or if they purchase certain products or if they visited certain pages on my website. Um, really as hard as you want it to be or as easy as you want it to be. So you can start with easy and slowly build out to it. 
Um, I can have it start or end different automations. Um, I can update contact profiles, things like that, um, do goal-based email marketing. Um, really just endless possibilities and all done in such a simple way that you can just watch the sequence, right? I can see right now, I can see that this person is waiting. This person, um, these people are all waiting for here. Um, these people are um, in this waiting period right here. So you can track people. I can click in there and see those people. Um, that's another thing I just love about it is everything, everything I could possibly think of wanting, it always, Active Campaign has thought of it and like it's always there. Anyway, before we get too far, let's uh, let's move on here. Um, the builder, and this is what I would say is the one weakness of Active Campaign, okay? So they, they do have an email builder, obviously. Everyone has an email builder. Um, and we'll go create a quick campaign so we can look at that. The builder is probably their weakest point. If I click new campaign here, and um, we decided to do just a quick test builder. And we wanted to send it to, let's just make up a list here since we're not actually gonna send it. Hopefully I don't just unconsciously do so. Um, so we can build from scratch. It's got templates. Um, the templates, like I said, aren't incredible. But you can see down here, it's got some different kind of templates that you can use, um, not a ton of them. Um, but we'll build from scratch. As you can see the builder, um, each email can be formatted accordingly, right? And let's just, do a random subject line there. And let's get a peek at this Active Campaign Builder. Um, the Builder, so like I said, not my favorite part of Active Campaign. You can see it's got all the options there. It's got all the options here. You can add blocks and images and buttons and videos and blah, blah, blah. And you can um, kind of click and drag things around. Um, but it's not the prettiest builder, okay? It's got it's got all the options there, but it's not the most easy to use. And it's not the most um, visually nice builder, I guess you could say. Um, you know, it's hard to like overlay text and things like that. But you can do pretty much anything you want. Um, just clicking and dragging, right? I can put it here, I can put it there, I can add just there, I can add the image to the left. Um, so you can do everything you want. You can design it to look literally exactly like you want, but it's not as like visual as if you've used like MailChimp or maybe ConvertKit. So if the builder is the most important thing to you, then maybe you don't need Active Campaign. But if you pretty much anything else is important to you, you need Active Campaign. Um, little talk about pricing. So uh, there's a bunch of different plans, and honestly, one of the, my favorite parts about Active Campaign is you pretty much get all the features on the the cheapest plan. Okay, so a lot of these email autoresponders they have a cheap plan and they kind of go up from there. And the cheap plan uh, doesn't have half the features that you need. You know, you can't do forms, you can't do tracking, they won't give you reports, they won't let you do like advanced automation. It's so frustrating. But Active Campaign, uh, their cheapest plan starts at nine dollars a month, and it gives you pretty much everything. I think the only thing not on that plan is text messaging. Other than that, everything's on there. Um, and in fact, I can pull up here. It comes with advanced automations. All the stuff I'm showing you, I'm actually on the cheapest plan. So everything I'm showing you is on that plan. Advanced reporting, advanced integrations, advanced social media, targeting, uh, forms. Yeah, literally the only thing it doesn't come with is SMS messaging and it doesn't come with the CRM. So then they've got a bunch of other plans, but those are all based, basically if you need a CRM or if you need text messaging. Um, and I recommend Iraq Campaign as an email marketing autoresponder, not necessarily as a CRM because I don't really use a CRM for my business. Um, so that's probably my favorite, one of my favorite parts about Active Campaign as well is the uh, pricing structure where pretty much anybody does great on the cheapest pricing plan um, as opposed to like having to upgrade to get some features and stuff that you want. Um, the next thing is cool is site tracking. Okay, this is really, really cool. You can put a pixel in your website and if this is overwhelming to you, don't worry, you don't have to do this and a ton of people don't do this. But I can go to my settings right here and it'll give me a piece of code. Okay, you can see in this tracking section, it gives me this piece of code and I put that in my website header or my developer does it for me and I can track exactly what visitors are doing on my website, okay? And I can tell Active Campaign to do things like, hey, this person made it all the way to my checkout page and then they didn't buy. So I wanna send them an email like, hey, you didn't buy, do you wanna buy? Um, and that's obviously very, very powerful uh, and, and Active Campaign is tracking everything like that. So it's really, really cool that they're able to do that. They're able to, to track exactly what visitors on your site are doing and send them emails and uh, accordingly. Uh, the next thing is support. Uh, a lot of these big software guys are kind of going away from like the 24-7 like live support. Um, I've never noticed Active Campaign have issues. I live chat all the time with them. They answer instantly and they fix my problem so fast. Um, I'm honestly not sure if they have like phone support available, but their live chat has never been an issue. So they've always hopped on, fixed my problem, and we've been able to go from there. Um, so very, very good quality support. Um, the next thing is cool is conditional content. So I won't show you this, but essentially I can write an email and I can take any piece of content, text blocks, images, all kinds of things like that, and I can say, hey, I wanna make this conditional, meaning only if this contact has a tag or this contact's on this list or I've done something to this contact, like right, this contact has this particular attribute. I can say only then do I wanna send this particular piece of the email, okay? Maybe I'm offering them a sale and I, I don't wanna do that to certain contacts or maybe I'm telling them about a specific feature or maybe I wanna um, have an image change based on if someone's in this you know, niche or if someone's in this niche or 
um, anything like that. You, you can make all content conditional and, and that's able to make it so that each email can actually be personalized to the different people that you're um, sending emails to. Another cool thing, contacts. Oh, and I'm going to go into this contact right here so you guys can't see my contacts. This is me and this is my, my fake email address. So go ahead and steal it and send me spam emails or whatever you want. Um, but you're able to really quickly hop in, look at your contacts, find your contacts and and basically see what's happened to contacts, right? So someone like, um, so for example, if you're in Europe and you've got to deal with all these different like regulations, GDPR and stuff, you can very easily see exactly what's been going on, what's been sent to your contact, what tags they have, any information that you have on that contact, etc. cetera. Um, very quick, very easy. And then you can make changes. I can also make mass changes to contacts. So I can say, hey, take everyone in this list and tag them this way or move them into this list or do whatever you want. You can, you can make mass changes very easily to contacts. Um, uh, reporting, oh, huge, huge, huge. Uh, really, really high quality reporting. Okay. Um, so you can see here that this is reporting and giving me all the stats on different campaigns that I've sent here. You can also get stats on automations, which is what I primarily use active campaign for. So I can hop into this automation. I can see, Hey, 1800 people have gone through there or 4,000 people have gone through there. And I can say, Hey, and look at each individual one and see what's kind of like really quick. You know, where's my problem? Oh, look, this one's not getting very many clicks. This one's not getting very many opens. This one in particular is not getting very many clicks. Um, I can click into individual ones and kind of see, oh, okay, what's going on at that one? Um, you know, more information. Oh, people are calling that spam. It's bouncing a lot. Uh, really, really quick, fast reporting um, that's very visual and, and able to kind of get you to rip through your reporting and find your, your seams and your issues really quickly. Uh, another thing I love, split testing. So if you like to do split testing, which you probably should, um, both on campaigns and automations, you can have it split test and find the best email that you could possibly send, the most high converting email, and then have it focus on that one. And that's available in most autoresponders, but definitely also available on active campaign integrations. Okay. So if you're integrating with anything like WordPress or thrive or any of these like form builders or click funnels or um, WooCommerce or Shopify or all these, you know, there's a million shop, shop softwares that you could be using that you want to integrate with. Uh, it seriously integrates with them all. It's awesome. I can hop in here. Integrates very easily with pretty much everything out there. Um, and I integrate with, oh, it's asking me to integrate now. Um, those like click funnels and all those ones actually have integrations for active campaign. Um, and if you don't, it does integrate with Zapier, which makes, um, makes everything really, really easy. Um, so I guess just a final, a final point to look at here is, is, is the pros and cons of active campaign. Who, who is this really for? Okay. The pros, absolutely automation, really powerful automation. Um, anything you can think of that you'd ever want to do in automations, uh, active campaign has the ability to do so. Um, just unlimited options. Another thing, easy to use. Okay, everyone I've taught um, about Active Campaign just adores the fact that they're able to figure it out in a day. They're able to just rip through it. Even these like kind of like really intense, high quality automations that, that might seem complicated in some other email autoresponder, just very easy, very visual to do in Active Campaign. Um, the fourth thing, support. Oh, gotta love their support. Being able to just instantly have an issue, hit up chat, and get an instant response, right? And not have to wait two hours and then go back and go back and back and forth. And it takes three days and you're losing money every day. Um, and then the last thing is the pricing structure. The fact that their basic plan has all of their features. So you don't have to sit there and bump up two plans just to get one single feature, which a lot of these autoresponders will do to you. Um, as far as the cons go, page building is kind of ugly. Okay. It can build pretty pages, but the actual, you know, the actual form builder itself, a little outdated. Um, I'm willing to bet that's in the works to get updated, but currently it isn't. Uh, the only other con I would say is they don't have their own SMTP. Okay. So there is no, you can't have your own and you probably don't even know what I'm talking about a lot of people, but you can't connect your own SMTP and active campaign and run through there as of the time of making this video. So remember, if you've liked this video, <laughs> whew, it's a long one. If you've liked this video, click subscribe. I try to introduce you to all the cool tools that I use in my business um, and click like, and maybe leave a comment about how much uh, or something that you learned from this video or um, maybe questions you have, I promise you, I always respond to every question on YouTube. So please leave those questions down below and I'll get them answered for you. Um, and then remember two links down there. One is active campaign. The second one is the free email marketing course to get you started in email automation and email marketing. Thanks so much for watching.